Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Minecraft. And yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are actually back with a little bit something different. Today is going to be a build episode. So fear not, multiplayer is coming back, I just want to redo this house because honestly, it's really really basic. So we're going to dig into this house, I'm going to try to build it up bigger. Uh, we should have a multiplayer episode coming up within the next day or two, but I know I had a lot of requests to uh, redo the house here. Also, I might look a little bit different, I do have a new skin on, I want to thank Mr. War Challenger. Actually, let me go ahead and show you guys this. Let's go ahead and take the armor off real quick. There we go, look at that, we have a burger, it looks like a halo armor or something, it actually looks really cool, uh, so really happy with this. So yeah, we're going to jump into here, I'm going to tear this old house down, we're going to redo it. I need to move these chests outside and we should be ready to go ahead and start to dig into the house and renovate it. Alright, so the building is cleared out, we're ready to go ahead and start deconstructing. So I want a two story house and I want it to be at least probably two times as wide and two times as long, I think. I don't know, let's go and start breaking the glass here. Alright, so I'm going to chop the front part of this off. Now, I do want to add a uh, cobblestone floor, uh, because I'm not really a big fan of this wood floor here. So I think that'll look cool. So I immediately want to move on to uh, getting this thing in a situation where I can start to uh, put my furnaces down and some storage in here. Uh, that way we can uh, start to make some more glass, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some other things I need. Alright, so as you can see, the house is now completely gone. So what I'm going to work on next, uh, I'm going to go ahead and dig out the foundation here. And I'm going to figure out just exactly how big this thing's going to truly be. Uh, I want to go a little more vertical, I guess I should say, because I don't want to take up all the space uh, inside of these walls. Because I want to have other areas, like a farm, I've got a little blacksmith that I'm going to start back up over there. So... Uh, it's going to take quite a bit of work here, but I definitely want a bigger house, and I want a better looking house than everybody else's. Uh, well, I mean, I'm hoping. You know what, I don't think I'm going up against too much competition with OB. <laughs> okay, so real quick, what I'm doing here, I'm actually laying out a foundation. You see that I left one block below that's hollow. I do plan on having a basement, uh, but I do want to elevate the foundation itself uh, with cobblestone. And then I think I'll do one more layer, probably like... Actually, I'll probably do it on the outside here, or maybe I'll do one up, like, here. And that's going to be a, a part of the bottom floor, too. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to work out pretty good, actually. Alright, so I'm not going to have just a strictly square house here. I want a big uh, window pane, like, a, probably a... I guess it's going to be a four wide or a two wide, uh, going straight up on both floors. So this one little area actually uh, dips out a little bit. And then over here, I'm actually going to put my stairs... Uh, which will lead up to the front. Actually, let's do one more stair, maybe right here. And then we'll do these. And this will lead up to the front door, which will be two either still... Actually, I think I'm going to do the uh, the spruce doors here in the front. So, I've still got to fill this whole thing out. I might need to go down to the mine and get some more cobblestone. I'm hoping... Do I have any more? No, I do not. So, yeah, I need to dig out a little bit more. I don't need too much more, though. I just got to be able to fill in this gap right here. And then the uh, foundation will pretty much be done. Now, I could move on to doing some other work here. So, I was talking about having this uh, big glass window here in the front. So, we'll go like two up like that. And we'll do it, I don't know how tall. Like, it's going to cover both floors. And then I'll probably surround it in wood. Probably the spruce logs here. So, we'll go something like that up on each side. Uh, I do want all the corners, kind of like the old house. I did like the whole fact that the uh, the corners had the spruce logs. So let me go ahead and we're going to mark these out real quick. So every corner has spruce logs and then the doorway will still have that little spruce log uh, area around the two doors, which I think will look pretty cool. So let me go ahead and mark that out real quick. So the doors would be right in here. So we'll have one, two, and then we'll go one, two up like this. All right, and then the rest will be uh, the normal planks and stuff like that. Man, I think this is actually going to look pretty cool. All right, so foundation is laid out here. I'm probably going to convert some of this into normal stone just to have it look a little bit different. So you're going to walk into here, and you're going to walk into, I'm assuming it's going to be basically the, uh, the living room. We'll probably have like a kitchen area where the uh, furnaces are. Uh, probably a storage, or I might actually stick the storage under the building. I'm not really sure. 
I know one thing I need to do right now. I need to go ahead and build a staircase uh, that leads up to the top, and then I can design the rooms around the staircase. So I'm thinking if you walk in here, uh, you walk down, you'll probably immediately see kind of like a grand staircase about right maybe here. I'm thinking I can have a small room tucked away to the right, so... Let's go ahead and place... Actually, do I have normal stone for this? I believe I do. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Alright, so I'm thinking something like this here. And I might have a little room under this thing too, which would be kind of cool. Alright, so I have the stairs positioned on that side. I'm going to go ahead and build this front window up. That way I can see how tall the, uh, the second story is going to actually be here. So I'm going to continue to place these uh, spruce logs here. And I actually screwed this one up. There we go. Alright. This is gonna, I think, look pretty okay. I I'm pretty excited for this one. Alright, so while designing the outside, I actually started to realize that the stairs were too far back, and I wasn't quite digging the stone. I like the stone stairs, but I wanted a wood outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and redo those, but you can kind of see the window design all around the house. Alright, so stairs are done here. I've actually expanded the front window a bit, because the roof's gonna be really, really tall, and I just now realized that, so... I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, handrails in here because a part of this is actually going to be a balcony. I don't think the upstairs is actually going to have much besides probably the uh, the main bedroom. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some handrails here and link them up to here. And then we're going to put a set here. And, hmm, do I want to be able to walk around this whole thing and just put the bedroom in the corner? This is a little tricky spot here. Ideally, I want a handrail here. That way I can have a balcony and you can look down at the main part of the uh, house. So I think we're going to do something kind of like that. But I've got to figure out how to actually stick a room in here. Plus I would kind of want a pillar on each end too to make it look like there's an actual support up here. Alright, so we are still working here. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. I'm actually about to delete a section though. Uh, I want to go ahead and make one more tall window here, and then we can start to move stuff in. I did make a bedroom up here at the top. Uh, I haven't moved the stuff in on that either, but that will be where I'm staying. I do want to do a basement, like I said. Uh, I don't know if we'll get around to the basement in this episode, but I'm kind of curious uh, as far as the feedback that you guys have for this uh, particular house and what you guys would like to see uh, added to it. Okay, closing up the roof here. So I've got to figure out a design for the roof. I don't want just a square roof. I want to kind of probably skew it up, but I wanted to close it off. Uh, that way the house is uh, livable right now until I get some more materials here. Uh, oh, I've got a bit of an issue. How do I get off my roof without dying? Uh, okay, maybe I can catch myself with some uh, some blocks here. No, this will be totally fine. Uh, I think I could totally make this fall, right? Okay, it didn't hurt too bad. Alright, so there is the exterior, at least what we're dealing with right now. Hmm, I'm trying to think if there's anything I would change here. I might change up the glass in the front, and I might expose a little bit more of the uh, the spruce planks. Actually, I got a couple ideas here, uh, just looking at the front of it. So I'm going to go ahead and make some more spruce planks here. Uh, I don't need any more of the other wood. And I think I'm going to fill in some of the areas here with spruce. That way it gives it a little bit of like a, a different color in the front. Alright, so I've added some more spruce planks into there to try to give it a little bit of a different look there. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I just want to kind of have like a pointed top to it. Uh, let's kind of see it from the side here. Yeah, overall, pretty happy with the, uh, the first design. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Now, I did change the inside up just a little bit too. I added the, uh, the fence pieces to the bottom of the like the balconies up here so you kind of have that and then you would walk upstairs I kind of want to add some railings which it might just be fence pieces uh, going up the stairs there hold on let me uh, get rid of this stuff so yeah you can walk around the balcony completely here and then uh, here is the uh, the bedroom uh, I can go ahead and stick my bed down here and actually go to sleep in my house for the first night uh, I think I'm gonna stick the bed hold on get another one here there we go see this is pretty nice actually Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start to lay out some of the inside here. So I believe this is going to be like a living room section. We'll probably have uh, maybe some homemade couches. I need to go find some sheep and stuff like that to get some wool. I kind of also maybe want to add some stonework in here. Also, I'm probably going to put a wall maybe right here. Actually, I'm going to move it back. I don't want to interrupt the, uh, the fence pieces here. Uh, over here, I'm actually going to dig downward. And this is going to lead into the basement over here. Or I actually, uh, I could probably do it here. So we have the uh, the underside of the stairs here, and we'll probably have a second door here. So we'll have the basement, 
Uh, we'll have some more decorations in here. Uh, maybe we'll go on some more quests and stuff, and I can uh, find some more stuff to actually fill the house out with. All right, so we're about ready to go ahead and dig the uh, basement. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that this episode, and we'll kind of decorate uh, in some of the other episodes. Let's go ahead and open this up here. So, yeah, this is kind of the kitchen area. It's more still a work in progress, but for the most part, pretty happy with it. Let's go ahead and close these. All right, so let's go ahead and start to dig here. So we'll have a staircase that leads down to a door, uh, which will lead to my little basement area. So let's go ahead and cut into here. I'm going to need to go get some more cobblestone is what's going to happen. I do have stairs, though. Should I cut the stairs probably into here and here? Can I get out of that? Yeah, I should be able to get out of that. All right, so I'll need... Uh, oh, yeah, let me go ahead and get my shovels here. Uh, we're going to need to dig this thing out. It's not going to be the deepest basement. You know... I probably could link it to the escape tunnel from the uh, last multiplayer episode. Uh, that could definitely be a thing if I wanted to. All right, so we've started the basement here. You can see that I'm going to go ahead and do a floor of cobblestone, and then we'll do the same thing to the walls. I'll probably add some iron doors down here. Actually, this is too short. Hold on, let me cut these down. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's the stairs that leads down to the basement. All right, so I think that's going to be about it. We'll finish up everything that we need to finish up here real soon. Uh, let me go ahead and go to sleep here, and we'll wrap this up. So anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for the build here, uh, we still have quite a bit that we can do with this uh, particular house, and then we can uh, move on always to other things. I'd like to get a garden probably out right in this area here. Uh, we'll maybe add like a little awning, and then build up the walls a bit more on the fort. But yeah, like I said, comment below with suggestions for builds here in Minecraft. Uh, we will be returning with some more multiplayer. I'll probably do a little uh, off-camera building too, that way we can uh, build up this area. And not do it all in one episode. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time.